Welcome back. To ensure successful delivery of the medium-term development strategy and other products of the Department of Economic Development, a strategic plan for 2020-2023 has been launched to build internal capacity of that department. Jesse Leos has that report. Institutional arrangements have critical importance for planning and implementation of adaptation and mitigation actions. With this in mind, the Division of Economic Development has launched a strategic plan for the period 2020 to 2023 that will establish a clear strategic direction and optimize its operational efficiency, relationship with stakeholders, and capacity to deliver on its mandate. A ceremony was recently held to mark the occasion. Claudius Emmanuel is the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Economic Development, Housing, Urban Renewal, Transport and Civil Aviation. Today's launch of this strategic plan, therefore, is a decisive effort at reasserting the crucial role that the Division must play in contributing to St. Lucia's socio-economic development. As a resource-poor small island developing state, there are many structural features which we cannot directly change. However, the effective and efficient utilization of the limited available resources is something that is directly within our locus of control. As such, we are obliged to do all that is possible to strengthen our, institu our institutional frameworks. Priority initiatives of the Division's four-year strategic plan include national discussions on local, regional, and international socioeconomic trends, human resource and capacity development, prioritizing resources based on annual work programs aligned to government's priorities, and monitoring, evaluation, and delivery on flagship products of the reformed public sector investment plan, that is the PSIP, and medium-term development strategy, MTDS. Having launched the 2020-2023 medium-term development strategy, this strategic plan will invariably buttress and complement the implementation of this landmark development policy instrument for St. Lucia. Working in tandem, these two critical policy instruments will serve as the guiding document of the division as well as St. Lucia and the many development partners and stakeholders. At the minimum, it will dispel the uncertainty regarding what the division does and the value proposition it offers. That was Tommy Descartes, Chief Economist in the Division of Economic Development. Minister for Economic Development, Housing, Urban Renewal, Transport and Civil Aviation, Honorable Guy Joseph, commends personnel within the division for their contribution toward the indigenous drafting of the strategic plan. He looks forward to its successful implementation. I don't want what we have planned to become another set of documents on the shelf or on a hard drive. As a country, we ought to know what we need, how do we plan for it, and how do we achieve it. That is the key, because we can have the best plan on paper. If we cannot achieve it, it is as good as the paper that it is written on. In congratulating the division staff on the launch of their strategic plan and commending them for their efforts to date in rolling out the medium-term development strategy, Prime Minister Honorable Alan Shazney indicated that the MTDS projects have helped tremendously in generating revenues and stabilizing the economy. We got our October numbers and I think it was $89 million in tax revenue for the month of October um, and the goal was 103. So. We have come a long ways. I mean, we were at 1.50 million. I think one month we did 44 million dollars in tax revenue. So we're seeing that we can, the combination of the construction, the IT, ICT sector, as well as what we're seeing in tourism, that is working. And a large part, I want to say thank you to all of you. The launch of the Division of Economic Development Strategic Plan for 2020 to 2023 was held on November 5th at the Finance Administrative Center in Point Seraphin. For the Government Information Service, I am Jesse Leons reporting.